Hi all, this is Tim Wilson of Evolution Software. In today's video, we're going to look at how you can use the Go to 2D mode to construct geometry in a simple top view. For example, suppose we want to place uh, some geometry and construction work on this arbitrarily oriented face of a part. And we're going to go show you how you can do that using the Go to 2D mode. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create some the reference boundaries for this face by creating a multi-line along the face vertices. Once we have those four lines, I will select them and now go to the 2D mode. And we'll just click on the header and we'll be prompted. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, we do. And then the other interesting uh, prompt that comes up is the, do you want to transform the selected curves into the XY plane? And yes, we do. This is our whole goal is to work in a nice simple XY plane and then have it put back into the arbitrarily oriented plane. So we'll select yes here. And now we have our, our 2D geometry in the XY plane and let's add some more details to it. For example, we'll add an offset and we'll do a quarter of an inch offset and I'll just select all my four lines and indicate a direction for the offset. And then we'll go ahead and let's add in a an ellipse on the inside and we'll wake up a couple points here and draw the ellipse and then lastly let's create some text I'll create via CAD and we'll use our gripper to size and uh, position our text within the ellipse and then when you're done with all of your uh, constructions. You can go to the uh, header bar and go from 2D back into 3D. And what you see are the, uh, the lines and the ellipse and the text. Everything I did in the top view has now been transformed back into the uh, face of the part. And let's go ahead and do a couple operations on this solid. Uh, for example, let's do, let's do a cutout and we'll take those four lines and ellipse and we'll cut it out from the part and we'll select the solid hold down the shift key pick the four lines and the ellipse and let's have it cut out a depth of 0.25 and then let's uh let's cut all our text and we will do a extrude solid by distance. I'm going to use distance because what it does is it it does it a um, the distance is measured relative to the normal of the text and so we'll pick our text and that extruded out a positive uh, tenth of an inch. I'm going to click on the distance and I'm going to change that to minus point zero one five. Then we can go to uh, one of our Boolean tools and we can subtract out from this part my extruded text. And now let's show only our part. And now let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and add a chamfer on the outside and we'll make it a tenth of an inch. And there we've completed our part and uh, shown how you can use the go to 2D mode to create geometry in an arbitrary plane. Thank you.